With Qantas Wallabies coach Robbie Deans and Robbie, off the back of that result, an 18-all draw, not a defeat. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, unsatisfied. You know, we we wanted to win. We came here to win, and um, felt we'd put ourselves in the position to do that, but ultimately came up short. Mm. Going into this match, there were very few people, probably outside your own group, who gave you gave you a chance of winning. What was the feeling like within this team going out there? Oh, the feeling was great. You know, we spent a bit of time together in the last couple of weeks, and you know the guys have bonded well. The spirit was evident. Um, There's also a chance to really tend to a lot of detail, and uh, you know we got paid from a lot of it. You know, we were good around the, the collisions, good around the contact. Um, still not perfect, you know, but that's I think both sides were that way. Both sides forced errors. We had a couple of unforced ones that are probably uncharacteristic for a couple of blokes, but you know, that's the game. Um, ultimately, both sides are probably frustrated. Mm. And after the siren, you're inside their quarter. Uh, you wouldn't have heard it from the coach's box, but there were a lot of people crying for the field goal. Yeah, yeah. Were you doing the same? Oh, yeah, we, yes, that's probably fair. But, um, you know, he was in, KB was in a position to do it at one point, and then he drifted, and what he was trying to do was stretch the defence to assist the forwards with what they were doing in the hope of drawing a penalty because we'd drawn so many penalties. They'd infringed so often under that circumstance. Uh, but the penalty went the other way. <laughs> In terms of reviewing that performance, though, given the injury toll, and I know you, you haven't wanted to use that as an excuse, but given the personnel that was out there tonight against uh, a side which was pretty much on top of its game and on top of its, on top of its form and top of its, its playing roster, um, in a day or two you'll probably look back and think that was one hell of a performance. Oh, yeah, there's some great components within it. You know, don't get me wrong, I think we had one player in the back line who played against them last, last time out. So there's, a, there's been a huge transition and some, some young men you know, did very well in, in their first outing against the All Blacks. You know, there's a number of blokes out there who never played them before. So, yeah, good start. And you talk about some of those. I mean, James, James Hansen came on for his debut late in the game. The honey badger out on the wing was, uh, was pretty fired up early. Uh, you know what you're going to get from the badger. He's, he's great. So, Robbie, looking forward now to the spring tour. Um, what are you going to set for the goals going on that four-match trip? Well, it's an important exercise for us. Um, firstly, we'll freshen up. I mean, these boys had a big month playing around the globe, played some tough games. Um, we've retained our second status t for now, which is really important because on the 1st of December, the, the draw for the next World Cup occurs and seedings are, are, are key to that end. So. We've got four tough test matches, France, England, Italy and Wales. Uh, I don't think we're going to get too many players back, but you know, the boys showed out there tonight, they've, they've got what's required to, to do well on that trip. And when they've freshened up a bit, we'll gather and really look forward to that.